Hi, my name is Lori Waters with the State College Community Land Trust. I'm back on site today at our University Drive duplex. Uh, it's been a couple months since we've done a video update and certainly a lot of things have been changing. Uh, so we'd like to give you a little tour around, point out some of the things that have happened in the last two months um, and give you a little taste for what's to come. So last week we had an exciting project happening at the house. Uh, we had a company called Healthy Energy Pros come out and they're a local distributor for a company called Aero Barrier. And Aero Barrier is essentially um, an aerosolized uh, caulk material that you blow inside the house. It finds air holes and eventually settles into those holes and seals it up as the caulk dries. Um, so it was a really exciting process. We had a number of our board members and volunteers come out and got to see the process. Number of Infinity crew members that came out um, and some other community members. Uh, so they had set up essentially a blower door test into each of the units, blowing and pressurizing the house. And then inside the house they had uh, various tripods set up that actually would feed and then aerosolize um, this liquid compound that again then distributes, finds the air holes, and eventually settles it in. Um, so the goal with that was to just seal up the house a little bit more. Obviously we still have a lot of construction that we're doing with new windows and and the insulation on the outside. Um, but doing this now in the process allowed us to really seal up some of those tiny holes that might be covered up soon. Um, so now when we put this insulation on the outside, we know that some of those little tiny pockets have been sealed and won't just be covered up um, and potentially still allow a little bit of air leakage afterwards. So on the side of the house, uh, not really anything has changed up here at the top. Uh, we're still waiting for that insulation to be blown in. Um, and then these pockets that are open for the insulation will all be closed off. Um, so that should be happening in the next couple weeks. But down low, um, a few weeks ago, we actually had dug all the way out around the foundation around the house in order to add layers of insulation here around the foundation. Uh, so we'll get a little closer. You can really get a gauge for how thick that is. I think it's maybe about six and a half inches or so. So it's a bit hard to imagine it all now um, with some of the machinery that's still back here. Um, but you'll have this lower slider entrance. Um, you'll step out and it'll be a concrete pad in this area extending all the way out to where the uh, wooden deck above will be and then beyond this it used to be the driveway um, but all this will be coming up and it'll end up just being a grassy area so you'll have a lot more yard space going back on each side um, and then it kind of connects right over to the the lower porch area over in this area is where we will have the parking we had to do some rearranging we thought we could kind of do it more over towards the grass and tree area over there um, but we've decided to adjust it. You'll have four spots right along here. So two per unit um, that kind of bump right up to where the, that wooden porch will be. So here, stepping into the basement, you can see all the changes that have been happening in the last few weeks. Uh, we have framed out for a laundry closet over here. This was something we were kind of doing a couple different layouts, trying to figure out what would work best and what would keep the most amount of space in this rec room area. So we ended up being able to tuck everything into this closet. Um, you'll have a door here, open it up, and then you'll have a stackable washer dryer here, small utility sink in the corner. And then on the other side, you'll have your electrical panel. You'll have some other mechanicals for the solar panels. Um, but then there'll still be some room you could put some shelving, hanging room for um, air drying clothes, etc. You could put a little table for folding clothes. Um, but it feels pretty spacious there and um, just feels really good that it can be tucked back. 
So you'll come out here, this area over here will have more of just a vinyl flooring, and that way if somebody's coming um, out of their car, coming in this lower entrance, you might use this more as a mudroom area. Um, you know, you could set up a little bench over there, have some coat hangers, etc. cetera. Um, so that vinyl floor will swing around here a little bit, and then the rest of this area will all be carpeted. Uh, you'll see a lot of the framing that's gone up around the walls. So this is this foam on the wall that it, it's the same as what is under the floor here. We'll show some pictures of what those layers looked like. Um, that actually built up the floor many inches um, and now it's just been covered and we'll be ready for the flooring on top. Here's some of the HVAC uh, system wiring that'll be going in later this week. This is another spot where you can see some of that aero barrier. Um, you know, it found a little bit of an air leakage here, even though it had already been uh, sealed around a little bit. But all of this white here is that aero barrier that found an air hole, uh, sucked it in a little bit, and then sealed itself off. We have a box here. This is um, that has the, eight, the ERV inside. Um, that's part of that air recovery ventilation system that brings fresh air from the outside in without having to heat it from scratch. So it's preserving some of the heat, um, but bringing fresh air into the house when things are otherwise very tightly sealed up. Uh, you can see some of the markings out for framing into this uh, storage area. This is where that ERV will sit. Some other HVAC mechanicals there. Um, but then there'll be some room back here that you could use for storage. And so on these walls, they all have this, this foam base, but then there'll be a blown in cellulose that goes on top before the drywall goes on. Not much has changed here in the kitchen or dining room. Uh, maybe interesting just to see this other angle. Again, we'll have a counter going down here connecting that space in between the dining room and kitchen. Here in the kitchen, we'll have sink over here. Oh, I think that the dishwasher is either squeezing in here or it might be more on this wall. I can't quite remember. Over here is where um, the stove will be and we're planning right now to do an induction stove, uh, a little bit more energy efficient and just feels like kind of the next step in technology to try out. Refrigerator here. Pantry area here. And man, it'll be so bright once we have those slider doors in here leading out to that back porch. So that'll be probably uh, summertime when that's happening and when the deck is built. Here in the living room, you can see some holes in the ceiling. Um, that'll be for some really shallow, narrow um, LED bulbs that can fit up in the space. And uh, this didn't use, used to have an overhead light. So uh, this will really brighten things in here. 